In this movie, we're going to make a looping animation that's contained within a movie clip symbol. But then we're going to make that looping animation stop or change to a different animation. This is something we want to do often when we're making our animations. To do this, I'm going to import my tennis ball. Clicking on the layer gives me the option to create a movie clip upon import, and I will do that. Now that this is a movie clip symbol, I'll click on frame 100 in the timeline and press F5 to put frames along the timeline. Right clicking inside any of the frames, I will create a motion tween. Once this is created, the timeline turns blue. I'll move the playhead down to the end and simply drag the tennis ball across the screen. Remember that with the direct selection tool, you can adjust the motion path. Now, I will double click on the movie clip symbol to go inside. To keep things nice and organized, on this layer I will call it tennis ball. And then I will create a new layer. And this layer I will call siren. With the siren layer selected, I will choose the oval tool and draw a siren. I will double click on the siren, press F8 to convert it to a symbol that I will call siren. I'll go inside this symbol and on frame four, I will press F5 to drop frames. Go back to frame three, press F6 to put in a keyframe. And on F6, I will select a red color. Now when I press Command Enter, our police tennis ball goes across the screen. But what if we want at frame 50 to have the st siren stop flashing? Well, to do that, we go back out to layer 1. And normally movie clip symbols keep playing. So to change this, we are going to add frames here by pressing F5. And then on the siren layer, around frame 49, I will press F6 to drop a keyframe. And then I will go one frame farther. There are a couple ways to do this. I can right click and break apart. And then immediately press F8 to convert it to a symbol, and we'll call this Blue Siren. Now if I press Command Enter, you see at frame 50, the siren stops. Another way to do this, I'll press Command Z to go back, is on frame 49, press F6 to drop a keyframe. move forward to frame 50, right click, and duplicate the symbol. I will call this siren big. And when I go inside this movie clip symbol, I will press Q to change the scale of one part of the siren. Now when I press Command Enter, the siren has a different animation that starts at frame 50. So it's important to realize that you can stop a looping animation or you can change the looping animation anytime you want using this technique.